By July of 2010, the Old Spice guy was a cultural phenomenon. On the heels of this overwhelming success, an encore performance was a no-brainer. But Old Spice wanted something more engaging. Without breaking the bank, how could the man your man could smell like have a more direct, engaging conversation with his fans? You tell me. And so the response campaign was born. In two and a half days, a team of creatives, digital strategists, developers, and producers filmed 186 video responses to fans and celebrities, pulled from questions on Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, and more. These personalized, real-time messages were then posted on YouTube, sparking a sensation that would become the fastest growing and most popular interactive campaign in history. Alyssa Milano tweets, Tori asks on Facebook, Dear Huffington Post, Oh, hello, dangerous prairie wolf. No, I can't go hunting with you today. I'm talking to the internet. My body is 98% muscle, and muscles can't get sick. Underwater dental hygienist. I then whip him with his own shirt until death. This voicemail is now diamonds. On day one, the campaign received 5.9 million YouTube views, more than Obama's victory speech after 24 hours. On day two, Old Spice had eight out of the top 11 most popular videos on the web. By day three, the campaign eclipsed 20 million views. And one week post-launch, the work had been seen more than 40 million times. During this time, the brand's Twitter following increased 2,700%. Facebook fan interaction went up 800%. Traffic to OldSpice.com increased 300%. And Old Spice became the number one all-time most viewed branded channel on YouTube with 65 million campaign views. And while the response campaign was produced and promoted for less than $235,000, the work received more than 600 million earned impressions, the equivalent of $9 million in free media. Best of all, the work helped to double sales of Old Spice body wash, cementing Old Spice as the number one brand of body wash for men.